A-A-Ron. Yeah. Why didn't you say it the first time I said A-A-Ron? Because it's pronounced Aaron. You done messed up, A-A-Ron! <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back for uh, some more SPTV content. Still feeling a little bit under the weather. That's why I haven't uploaded um, anything in the last couple of days. Uh, but thanks to a probably lethal combination of uh, Advil and Tylenol and other things, I'm feeling good enough to do this video. I could not not bring you guys this video this evening. Uh, <clears throat> the only one who done messed up is Grant Cardone by trying to go toe to toe with legendary T-Mobile CEO, John Leisure and getting absolutely destroyed in the process. Jen Leisure, here, let me share, let me share this image with you here. Um, this is the thumbnail of the video. So John Leisure um, is most famous for being the, the CEO of T-Mobile. He's no longer the CEO. He stepped down a few years ago. John Leisure is one of the all-time great American CEOs. Um, John got, uh, I believe he got his bachelor's at UMass Amherst. He got uh, a master's from MIT. Uh, he was with AT&T for about 18 years before being hired as the CEO of T-Mobile. And as the CEO oversaw one of the greatest turnarounds in corporate history, he took T-Mobile from being sort of an ulcer ran a wireless carrier on the verge of bankruptcy to being the largest wire wireless carrier in the world after its acquisition of Sprint. John Leisure is everything Grant Cardone wishes he was and pretends to be. Um, John's reputation is sort of, you know, being a, a, a maverick and out of the box thinker, no, you know, respect for, uh, yeah, the, 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 um, the institutionalized ways of industry, doing things his own way, doing things the new way. The difference is that John Leisure actually has a history of success, um, operating that way and taking on the titans of industry and conquering those titans. Whereas Grant Cardone just whines and cries that he can never get the acceptance and the respect of the titans of the industry that he operates in. So uh, John and Grant tend to go head to head in, in some of these online live, uh, live chat spaces. And let me pull up my notes here. I'm going to play for you like a six minute, um, a six minute recording that I was sent of one of these chats. John Leisure calls Grant Cardone the biggest BS artist on the planet, a con man of the highest order. He says in the next year, it is his belief Grant Cardone will be found guilty of fraud. Um, he says Grant Cardone is not a billionaire, um, is a fake billionaire, lies, pretends that he's a billionaire, but isn't, says he would never do business with Grant Cardone, says Cardone has been begging John for five years to do business with him, and he won't. Um, and and he, uh, he insults Scientology a lot as well. John, John Leisure is one of my new personal heroes. <laughs> uh, truly an astounding interaction. And I just want to play this for you guys. Let's, uh, let's get right into this. Uh, let me just tee up, tee up my little thing here. Uh, guys in the chat, let me know once we get rolling here, if you can see the audio. Okay. And uh, here we go. John, hey, Grant, you, you, Grant, you, you are the biggest bullshit artist on the planet. Okay, John, so I'll least, finish my thing. So Grant Cardone, who talks about being a recovering done. addict, and if you look at his posts, they are constantly him holding wine and whiskey and everything else. So Grant, are you a recovering addict or are you just a drunk? I had a drug problem. I never had a drinking problem. Hey, hey Grant, how, how much of the world sees a bifurcation between a drug issue and an alcohol issue? What, what do you know about addiction? I know quite a bit. I've never had a problem with alcohol. You talk about my life and my recovery and the whole deal, but you're all drinking. Yeah, I, I don't have a problem with Well, I think the here. world might have a problem with your story, Grant. Why are you trying to diminish everybody in the room? No, just you, Grant, because you're a fucking why, why con you? man. <laughs> I'll say this on this room right now. I believe that in the next year, Grant Cardone will be found person, guilty God. of fraud. I believe that Grant Cardone will be found guilty of fraud, and I want nothing to do with it. John, do you know of anybody that I have been fraudulent to? I think you're, I think you're a fake uh, you know, somebody that says I used to be an addict, and I think you're fake. That's my, my okay, opinion. But, but, but thank you. But you've never done business with me. You've never given and me And I wouldn't anything. do We've business with anything. you, Grant. You've been begging yeah, me to do business with you for five years, and I won't. Uh, 
Uh, I don't think I've ever offered you any money to do anything or any partnership. By the way, he's not a yep. billionaire. Yep. He doesn't have close ahead, to John. a billion dollars. And he is How do you know, somebody, How do you know, somebody How here. Do you know he, he's How somebody do you know who is self-promoting. And if you, you go that, to the world, go to the world of CNBC, go to CNN, go to the world, ask about Grant Cardone. He doesn't exist. How do, you, how do you know what I'm worth, John? How do I know what you're spending under the radar to live how, how your you know lifestyle? How do you know where my money comes from? How do you, do you don't know anything about me financially. Just admit that, John. So how you much are you know, paying to the church, Grant? John, what, 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 John, what does that matter? How much are you what, paying to the church? John, what do you the know church, about me financially? You just, said, <laughs> you just made a bunch of claims about I don't what, know. I am, hey, you know, what I know, Grant, is that you say all the time you're a billionaire. That you have four billion. So you know, in in real estate, do you? Are you a billionaire, John? What do you know about my? Here's finance? your chance. Here's your chance, Chris. Are you I don't a need, billionaire? I don't need a yes chance or no? With you. You're the Are one you a billionaire? You tell you the group. Can... Hey, hey, Grant. I... Your profile says you're a billionaire. Are you a John, billionaire, John? I'm not going to even answer your questions right now. Are you? I'm... Are you until, close? you until you answer some of mine? I'm not going to answer yours. Okay. Let the group know that a very simple statement is Grant Cardone a billionaire? Yes or no? He won't answer. Well, it'd be hard for me to state that. I don't know how I could state that publicly and it not be true, without having banks come back and say, "Bro, what are you doing?" So you know what the answer is, Grant? You're not. John, Assets you versus debt. Just With a market at seven percent mortgage rates, how are you doing? John, I'm doing great. How how do you know? No, you say John, all the time you're a billionaire. You say it all the time, but you're not, and you won't say how it. How do you know that, John? It's great. Yes or no? Grant Cardone, are you a billionaire? John, how do you know? There you, you go. Come on, finances? that says it all it means, Grant. Okay, let me ask you're you a question, big John. talker. How, how you're a I big point? talker. By the way, by the way, by the way. Um, so John Leisure himself is worth, estimates are anywhere between $350 million. Um, and 800 million. Um, what, what I find interesting about him pushing Grant on this issue is John Leisure, although himself not a billionaire, he knows how billionaires live, act, and behave, how they use their money, how they handle their assets. And he's speaking from a position of authority, almost as a fellow non billionaire. <laughs> but someone who's definitely familiar with the landscape. Uh, this is just, this is just too good guys. I can't get enough of this. So uh, let everybody know the answer was not yes. John, did you, did you say in this room that, that I am fraud, uh, fraudulently using funds? Oh, here you go. From accredited. Here we go. Grant. Did, yeah, how did stupid you say that? do you think I am? I think you said that, John. Did you, you mean what, that? Grant? What did, did I, I say, Grant? Do you want to ask your lawyer to ask the question more specifically? I'm asking Just have you, him did, write it did, down. Have him write you, it down and send it to me. Do you believe that I have been fraudulent <laughs> with my investors? You know what, Grant? I believe That's, you're no, a you con man. No, you don't believe man. that. You don't believe I that. believe. I believe you are a con man of the highest order. And you understand my business depends on my reputation and on there you to go. the public. Okay, okay. This is con man number 101. <laughs> Try to find a little legal issue. Grant, I believe you're a con man. That's my personal belief. Hey, Grant, That's are you right. going to sick the church? Are you going to sick the church? Are you going to sick the church on me now? Because I know the church has a <laughs> big issue with people that are anti, you know, big players like you. Hey, hey, and are you not the biggest contributor to the church or no? Is or is 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 uh why, why, why is, do you top, attack, is, why, is the Top Gun guy still why, ahead of you? Why do you attack people's religion, man? I, I don't understand. It's not religion. You know, it's part of your it's the, the whole spiel. I do understand that the church will attack those that attack you. Is this part of that? John, man, bro, you you, you got to get some help, pal. I'm surprised that you would tell hundreds of people in a public room that I steal investors' money. When in fact we delivered twenty-two million dollars in cash this year, and almost four hundred million dollars over the last four years. And right. my opinion is you're a fraud. Yeah, and and what about the fraud? What about the 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 I stole money from uh, investors? My opinion is that Brad, it, is you're a fucking fraud. Go ahead, tonight, tell, tonight the, you take, tell the church, tell the church tonight, to come get me, Grant. Tonight, tell the tonight, church, you, and, and and Grant, how do you think that's going to play? 
in your big opinion about yourself and what people think about you if you're going to go and have this conversation. He said, I'm, I'm a fraud. So I, I, if, I, if, I, if you're that, if that you're that tenuous, you're a fraud, Grant. Okay. Thank you, man. Can't wait to see you leave now. Go ahead. Take your tail between your legs and head out the door. <laughs> oh my God. That was amazing. Um, you know, Grant did admit on that call that, you know, his ability to continue to do business and raise money and everything uh, is dependent upon his reputation. And yet one of the biggest uh, things about Grant Cardone is that his reputation amongst his peers is pure trash. That's why I've always sort of wondered why he was even able to continue to, to be successful in different capital raises. That's a big difference between Grant Cardone, one of the many, but a big difference between Grant Cardone and John Leisure. John Leisure is respected by his peers. Even though John Leisure does things in an unorthodox way, he succeeds and he has earned the respect of his peers. The only ones who publicly show respect for Grant Cardone are people who he pays to do so. All of these celebrities that come on and do interviews with Grant and do tours of his offices, these people are paid. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you guys don't watch as much Grant Cardone content as I do, but there was a recent video that Cardone posted of him giving Mike Tyson and Mike Tyson's wife a tour through um, one of the Cardone uh, business buildings. The title of this video was um, something to do with new, new business partnership with Mike Tyson. Not only was there not one word in the entire video about a business partnership, Mike Tyson could not have looked more uncomfortable and disoriented during the entire thing. It was so freaking cringe. And yet this is what Cardone relies on to have an air of legitimacy is he pays people who themselves have some degree of legitimacy in their own sphere and pays them to be associated with him. The same is true for even um, Dana White and the UFC. Um, <clears throat> I, I, I couldn't wrap my head around why Dana White was associating with Cardone. And then I found, oh, Dana White's new slap fighting uh, league came out and Cardone is one of the biggest sponsors, one of the number one sponsors of that thing. I'm like, oh, of course. So Cardone paid Dana White <laughs> a lot of money to be a sponsor for this thing. And in return, Dana White will you know, act like Cardone. Um, is some sort of legitimate thing. So considering the fact that so much rides on Cardone's reputation, that's why I felt like it would be only a public service to help spread the word, to help boost the signal of one of America's great CEOs calling out Cardone to his damn face and showing what a fool Cardone looked like in his responses. He had nothing. He had nothing. That clip was edited for time and content to make it easier to listen to. Um, but, you know, it, it was Cardone trying to accuse John of being an alcoholic and all this kind of stuff. And uh, anyway, yeah, I, I just thought that was absolutely amazing. Uh, okay, let me see. I saw one comment here. Uh, Ma Maisie Barnett was actor William Mapather, TC's cousin ever in Scientology. I'm not totally sure. I know who you're talking about. I'm not sure if... Um, if that guy was ever actually in Scientology. I suspect that he was. I just can't tell you for sure. Um, anyway, guys, uh, it's a little, it's already 7.20 p.m. Eastern. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of, uh, I'm feeling pretty good right now. I might try to get another video done before the end of the night. I just don't know. But anyway, guys, uh, uh, help me share this video far and wide. You know, Cardone likes to say that I only do videos about him for clickbait and views and money. My Cardone videos rarely get over 20,000 views, which is below average for my channel. Um, I actually uh, consider it a public service to do videos exposing uh, the fraudster, the con man, the grifter, the liar, one of the top supporters, uh, recruiters, and funders of the international human trafficking cult known as Scientology. It is my honor to continue to uh, spread the word about Cardone and his nefarious ways. So help me do that. Uh, give the video a like, hit that subscribe button, share the video if you can, um, and, and anything helps. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone who watches until the very end, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, if you want to see my rock and roll songs, click right on this guitar. And if you want to see an, a different one of my videos, uh, oh, dance, love, then you could click right inside here. If you have subscribed or not, subscribe 